Hello, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. I have so this week I have lots of things to do. So I want to make some new products and uh, I need to print out the new designs of the bookmarks. So I have three new designs and a new sticker sheet and maybe I will make one more. Um, but today I will work on some uh, polymer clay keychains. So I got a Fimo Soft in white and I got this uh, keychain parts. I don't know how you call this. And uh, so I will make five of them and see how they will uh, turn out. So I'll, so the process will be the same as for the uh, clay pins. Only I don't need to glue anything, so I just attach uh, this. I will first uh, create the shapes, uh, bake them, paint them, and then apply the UV resin. Last time it was pretty hard to shape them how I want, so... But I will also use the cookie cutter that uh, looks like a flower. I will use this cutter and uh, my marker for... Um, shaping them. I got five keychains that it's not too much keychains for starters and I think this is a pretty good size maybe I will try to is this too big I'm not sure I don't know maybe I'll do a few smaller ones and maybe a bigger and this will be for rolling out the clay and this is for cutting and that's it for the first stage <laughs> of shaping These are the sketches that I did, some ideas. I will probably do the orange now. Orange, a flower, maybe a Game Boy, or a house, cute house. I don't know. <laughs> the cloud is pretty difficult, so I'm not sure. Because this clay is not the best, so I'm not sure if I will be able to do something like that without the... Uh, how do you call this cookie cutter? I'll first roll them out so that they're, they're pretty similar in size. Maybe this is a bit too big. I will make a Game Boy of this. They finished baking, so this will be this will be 
earrings, so orange earrings, and also is this a pair of flowers as earrings, and this will be a little house flower, Game Boy, an egg, and a mushroom. <laughs> And I have, have this dotting tool for nails, for nail art, so I will use that for tiny details. And for the colors, I will probably use, I will definitely use these two colors. And um, I will not use the green and the bright pink. I don't know, <laughs> maybe I will just use this color so I don't have to mix anything. I started a jumping rope for 10 minutes every day, so I usually use this jumping rope, but maybe I will try this one because uh, this is a bit, this one is a bit short on me, I think, but this one is too long, so I'll see which one I will use. so today I only need to resin them and then they are done and now I'm gonna print out and laminate the bookmarks and I will also print and cut out a new sticker sheet so let me show you the designs here are the designs so a fruit again a fruit one but this time lemons tigers and bugs <laughs>
and this is the new sticker sheet design so now I'm gonna print this one out and so I'm gonna print this now and I will cut it with the silhouette portrait and then I'm done for today. The colors turned out really well. I really like how they look. I think this sticker sheet is my favorite so far. Okay, so I didn't manage to cut the sticker sheet because my portrait doesn't want to read the registration mark so I will deal with that tomorrow I'm really hungry so I want to go home and make something to eat and then I will continue working on the keychains Um, I messed up the keychains and I was so angry and disappointed but and now I really want to make them again because I think that they can really be cute but I kept the earrings I think they're really cute I mean I messed them up I will definitely make a few earrings because I really think they look great and I kept this too for my keys so it's not all for nothing and so what I have learned, I don't have a drill, so I need to make a bigger hole, a bigger hole, especially for the keychains, for the earrings, it's fine, but for the keychains, it just doesn't fit. I have a new Fimo Soft package and more earring parts and keychains. And for the bookmarks, people preferred the smaller ones, so I will offer them as they are i will not make them bigger as these ones are so i don't know if i showed you this before so i'm gonna show you again this uh, cutter for the corners and also there will be an option for round corners for the bookmark or straight ones so let me show you so these are the so these two guys i kept for myself I will definitely make more eggs and also mushrooms, but maybe I will use the bright red instead, I think, is it called scarlet red, I think, and not the, maybe I will also make a few pinks, but I don't know, but they're cute. I got five more uh, keychains and I will make three pairs of earrings, I'm sure that I like them. So I will make more of them.
I finished applying the UE resin and this time everything <laughs> turned out well so the trick is not to apply too much resin and uh, first I applied only on the top and then I would apply on the, on the bottom and on the edges hopefully <laughs> um, the keychain parts will fit now but they're so fun and colorful I really love them <laughs> and this will be the earrings they're so adorable And I'm finally done with the whole process and I'm super happy with them <laughs> um, so never give up always try one more time if you if something didn't work out the way you wanted to and the keychain part fits only thing I should have made uh, the hole even more bigger and more on the more to the edge because still it was a bit difficult to apply on some of them it's easier if you make them uh, pretty thin and then uh, a bigger hole and really on the edge so keep that in mind if you want to try and make your own I will show you them all up close and now I'm gonna try the earrings <laughs> they're so cute I love the little strawberries also super cute, I have one of these Everything is now available on my Etsy shop, so if you want to, you can check it out. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe so you don't miss more videos from me. And uh, yeah, <laughs> see you in the next video. Goodbye.